Higher homework 9, this is question 8. What we have to do here is we have to find the equation of the curve in the diagram here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the clues that I'm given to, to work out this, uh, this curve here. Right, so what I can see already from the graph, so I can see that I've got uh, the graph cutting through the x-axis at these points here. So that's going to give me the roots. Okay, so from the graph, um, the curve cuts the x-axis at the point, so there's x equals minus 1, x equals 2, and x equals 5. So they're the things that I'm going to use. So from that there, I know that if I take the minus 1 over to that side, of the equation, I've got x plus 1 equals 0. So what that's starting to give me is to give me some factors, okay? Here I've got x minus 2 equals 0, and I've got x minus 5 equals 0. So these are all my factors that I'm going to use. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to set up the, uh, the equation of the curve using the factors, but there's an important part that uh, is often forgotten, that there's a value that I need to place in as well. So let me see how this is going to look. So y is equal to some number. I'm going to call it k, and that's going to be multiplied by each of the factors. Okay, so that's me set up uh, a way of starting to, to work out the, um, the equation of the curve. This, this k value here would depend on how much the graph is kind of stretched in the, in the y direction. So remember, we could have numerous, numerous graphs that would, uh, that would go through the point minus 1, 2, and 5, but just with a slightly elongated shape or a more compressed shape. So that could work as well. So I need to find out what the value that I'm going to multiply by that gives me this exact curve here. Right, so when I've set this up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another clue that I've been given. So the first ones that I've used would be that one, that one, and that one, right, to get my factors. What I'm now going to use is this point here, okay, and that's the point 0, 5. That's one that I'm going to use now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the point 0, 5 into the above. Okay, so that's my x and that's my y. So at this side here, I'm going to start with 5 is equal to k, and I'm putting a 0 in wherever I see x. Uh, sorry, that's a 0, that's a 2, a 0, minus 5. Okay, so here, I've got the k. Multiplying these together, the two negative numbers are going to multiply out with the 1 to give me a 10. Okay, so what that is, is like uh, 5 is equal to 10k, so what I'll do is I'll divide this side by 10. So k is going to be equal to 5 over 10. So k is equal to, simplified down, a half. Okay, so I know the value that I'm going to be multiplying now. So what I'll do now is I'm going to write this here, this k, into here, into that equation. Okay, so I'm just bringing that equation down to here, and I'm just going to write that in. So what I have is y is equal to a half, and that's going to be x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 5. Okay. And that's going to be the equation of the curve that I have. What I'll do is I'll try and uh, multiply that out and get a finalised answer for that. So what I'll do is I'll leave the half on the outside to start with, and I won't use this bracket to multiply out. I'll just multiply these two out here. So it should give me x squared, that gives me minus 7x, and that gives me a plus 10 towards the end there. What I'll then do is I'll multiply this bracket out, the three-term three, three term bracket with the 2, and I'll multiply that out. And what I should get from there will be half, and we'll go for x cubed, these two multiply together, minus 7x squared, plus 10x. I've then got uh, plus x squared. Just multiplying out by the 1 now, minus 7x, and I've got plus 10 at the end. I'll gather them up, gather the bits up, 
and then I'll multiply out by a half. So what I've got is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10. Multiplying now by the half, so that will give me a half x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3 up and 2x plus 5. So that is my final equation. So that is the, the curve in the diagram. That's the end of that question. Right, let's, let's see how we're going to mark this one. And the marks I'm going to first get will be for... I'm going to go for getting the, the factors correct here. So these factors here are what I'm going to take first of all. I'm going to get one mark for getting a k value of a half. I'm going to get another mark I'm going to take here for correctly writing out the equation of the curve. And then I'm going to just get an extra one here, you know, for multiplying all of this out to give me the y equals curve without the, the brackets. So I'm going to say that this is going to be out of four marks.